بالميامين هداتي من بني هاشم هداتي من بني هاشم في خاتم النبيين اخ الوحي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my dear viewers and welcome to our weekly show The Great Trust The Great Trust our children which are um, granted to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator are a big amanat to us in our hands and now we know that they have reached the second phase of life which is a 7 to 14 age group and now they've bloomed into beautiful flowers which will benefit the society in many different ways our last week's session was about how to advise our children. Surely we know that words of advices and reminders are very, very beneficial and very effectful in the life of an, any individual. As we see in Quran, many places Allah has told the mu'mineen that it's good to remind each other. And the word fazakir has been repeated many times, which means remind or alert each other. As we discussed last time that how the parents are supposed to remind their children or advise them in terms of their difficulty, they have to be firstly all ears to their children, listen to whatever they have to say, feel their problems, put them in their own shoes and then reply to them according to their needs in proper advising words. Today we will discuss more on this very crucial topic and the very sensitive age of a child when they're going to this second phase of their life. We will welcome uh, without any delay our Razia Batul uh, Najafi to the studio. Asalaamu As Alaikum dear Alama. Wa Alaikum Asalaam wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh. Um, I would like to say thank you to you from behalf of all our viewers because Alhamdulillah our programs have been uh, really beneficial as we see from the comments and suggestions from our viewers. Uh, as we said our children have now from their very little buddy age have come into flowers and they are um, we're, we're taking benefit from them as they have learned basic disciplines in life and now have come to this age where they have to start practicing as we know that many of them will be reaching belug uh, or maturity soon and will be starting their their ibadat in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Alama, last week we were talking about um, advising them or uh, giving them reminders which is very beneficial to them. And this is the age when all these words are effectful for them and they need to listen and obey. Um, in terms of this very topic, um, some children are very sensitive to advices. What are the parents supposed to do to make sure that their words have an impact on them? Yeah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you so much, Zahra. This uh, question is very important um, for, I think, most of the parents. They need uh, to know exactly. And I love to say again and again that uh, the you know connection between child and parents shouldn't be just for advice or just for you know teaching them something and uh, uh, guide them there should be a very beautiful like friendship between the children and the parents yeah that that is the best and ideal uh, relationship but uh, as we have done before this discussion that very very we should be sensitive about giving ad advice to them about uh, you know guiding them because you want to uh, show them the right path and uh, you know tell them their mistakes so it is a very you know hard job so it needs some very uh, like um, good techniques for to, to, to teach them to show them their right thing so um, I think uh, there are some some ways of advising it are very very um, like negative ways I, I want to mention that those ways if we are doing that kind of uh, you know uh, advices that means because of our uh, you know style of advice uh, because that is not correct our uh, children they are not you know accepting it and as we know um, be because after teenage after 13 they are very very sensitive you know so much sensitive and Islam has mentioned about it that uh, this kind of change which is coming in their you know uh, nature it's uh, it's a normal it's thing yeah it, it is the blessing it mm -hmm. is the big you know Allah's bounty but if we can know you know how to deal with it and which, which is not very easy so first of all whenever we want to do advice it shouldn't be in very like harsh way like we shouldn't scold them yeah like we can't say that uh, when you will uh, become on the right path and when you know want you want to deal with li like like a, one gentleman 
or uh, we shouldn't uh, advise them in the commanding you know uh, way with command it, it is not correct at all like we, i can't say it is my order go right now and stand up and go pray namaz this is my hukum this is my command so if i start to talk like this uh, then uh, it it can't have that that uh, real effect, effect. Yeah, definitely mm -hmm. so baby he will pray in front of you she will pray in front of you but you know the love of namaz and that effect of namaz never ever you know uh, he can feel it and uh, the third uh, uh, negative way of advising is uh, to advise with uh, bad uh, titles and name like you know Mm -hmm. Oh lazy, okay. my lazy girl, you to know, my, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and whatever, like, Discouraging uh, yeah, and, and in some families, Zahra, I've seen, you know, they give uh, just a name to uh, all of the family members, like, this person is lazy, this person is, you know, has yeah. always, because he's, she's very naughty, he's like this, so, um, it has I negative effect on the child's negative. psychology, yes, yes. they feel like being like that, they want to, if the parent says you're lazy, then they want to be lazy, yeah, if, if, mm -hmm. if, you know, suppose, mm -hmm. He's not. Then, if mm -hmm. he's uh, like forty percent is lazy, mm -hmm. he'll become ninety or eighty percent. Mm -hmm. So it will increase their negative mm -hmm. habits more. So this is very bad. Like mm -hmm. uh, we can remember, like we can think that how kind of you know titles in in especially I think in in old time there was more common. They used mm -hmm. to give so right. much na bad names. And the uh, fourth, um, the, the negative way of advising is um, to advise with a threat. Like, uh, if mm -hmm. you don't do this time, this, you know, mm -hmm. work, then I will, you know, I will see you. I will do this with threatening. Mm -hmm. If you want to advise, it not, never works. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it is not it's a... It's not long-lasting. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It is not a, like, character of our Ahlul Bayt in Islam. Never, ever recommend to to advise because you know we don't want to just take benefit mm, from um, you know guiding them or from i don't know making them any any anyhow so much discipline only in this world this you know way. we don't mm -hmm. want to take just benefit from our child for this world we right. want to mm -hmm. you know uh, train them for here and hereafter yeah mm -hmm. so if i want you know uh, build them or you know put that love of allah and that good um, mm -hmm. uh, akhlaq and attitude so uh, i want to put them forever and mm -hmm. for allah mm -hmm. not just because of me right. you know some mm -hmm. parents they want their child just because of their own you know benefit sake right. of them like okay mm -hmm. he used to do this job because of me i want uh, mm -hmm. be a, you know have a good name mm -hmm. in this world just so it, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be our aim so alima what about this when some parents do things like this um they give to tell their children for example if you uh, don't study or if you don't work hard then we will take away uh, your you know the things that you like or if you work hard then we will buy something for you like what about um, you know not threatening them but um, sort of you know making um, f making them feel that if you do this and you will get this like rewarding them and punishing them f uh, for things that they might do or yeah, might I not think do that is, for, is that for, connected for to this yeah mm -hmm. For way young children, mm -hmm. we can say mm -hmm. uh, that kind of advice is like, you know, we say, like, if you don't listen to me, I will you take know, this away take, from yeah, you or take your, your time or take your play time or your friend's yeah, time away. Yeah. That mm -hmm. I think for for very young children mm -hmm. it works. We are talking about the teenagers mm -hmm. because so then this, this doesn't apply to the little children. If you do this to them, yeah. it doesn't yeah. have any negative. No, no, mm -hmm. no, no. That is not a big threat. Right. Mm -hmm. This is big threat means um, you know because they mm -hmm. are now near to blue. Yeah, yeah. and they are mm -hmm. actually some mm, like girls. They are balal. Mm -hmm. So you are dealing with them like an adult. So here you should be very sensitive. Means. Uh, to don't you know threat them mm -hmm. because threatening means a really you know actual threat that is just according mm -hmm. to their you know age and, and the things which they have and the fifth negative style of advising is uh, to you know warn them bad kind of warning like alert them they say if you don't do this job yeah or this kind of study you don't take this kind of degree then you will be loser whole life you know you will be beggar whole life and uh, the sixth uh, uh, the negative way of advising is 
don't make them very emotional like uh, sometimes you know especially the mothers you know they say that if you don't do this you might lose me you know like, like uh, this is very very mm -hmm. you know hard kind of uh, like lose and mm -hmm. uh, very big lose and emotionally they will hurt a lot but uh, you know light kind of like uh, emotional wordings, wordings mm -hmm. are not harmful mm -hmm. it's it's sometimes it's good like you know if you do this uh, you know your mom uh, will get upset mm -hmm. and you know I don't like it and I feel this kind of you know some kind of feeling you can say but not just about like death straight away if you say so it it, it has very negative effect and the seventh uh, negative way of uh, advising is to don't uh, mock them or don't you know make them little like th the way we are uh, you know advising them yeah I know you can't do it you you all you are always you know have this kind of uh, habit and you are doing this kind of job the last uh, negative way of advising is to don't advise them in prolonging way it should be short and sweet yeah mm -hmm. and we have so many examples like even in Nahjul Balagha whole Kalmati Qasar is short sayings like it's a short right. short mm -hmm. advices yeah and um, uh, like I, I just these uh, I want to give you two uh, incidents which shows that how much short and sweet kind of advices you know uh, can can mm, touch the hearts right, very it can easily. be very effectful as we said also last time that uh, if you keep it short then it sort of um, uh, tells them to think about it they will be prone into thinking and deciding for exactly. themselves yes yes they said uh, like Fuzail Ayaz, you know, he was a robber. He used mm -hmm. to rob uh, the, you know, the Baytullah Zahirin, the, the mm -hmm. visitor of Allah's house. You know, he, that kind of uh, bad job he had. But once when he listened the, um, you know, verse of Surah Hadith, verse number 16, it is a very famous verse. Uh, uh, we, we pray to Allah, inshallah, we get also some, you know, effect from this ayah. Like, has the time not come that the believer's heart has become humble due to the remembrance of Allah? So when we want to change our hearts, you know, Allah is asking, Allah is questioning. Mm -hmm. So this kind of, you know, very small uh, words of Allah, but the, in, in the form of question. question. So uh, just, you know, uh, uh, Fuzail, uh, he was the robber, not only ordinary robber, you know, he, w he used to rob the uh, visitors of Al Baytullah, Mecca, Kaaba. Then he said, I, I think I have to change my, myself, yeah? And other, uh, we have that Bashri Hafi, again, with only one sentence, he, he become changed. Because our Imam, they knows that uh, how, when uh, we should, you know, advise, uh, advise them. them, yeah. So they said, uh, once Imam was crossing from uh, Hafi's house and he was listening that there are, uh, you know, some very haram gatherings are going on, like uh, the sound of music and dance was there, over there. So the Kanis and the, you know, the slave girl was passing from the house and Imam asked him and Imam said, uh, your honor uh, is a free man or he's a slave? He said, he's a free man. So Imam said, okay, uh, yeah, because he's a free man, th because of that, you know, he doesn't have any fear for his honor. If he was the slave, he never ever used to do this kind of mm -hmm. uh, job. So she went and she quoted the Imam's this beautiful sentence and it, straight away it's uh, affected his his heart and he become you know became completely you know changed so we can ask to Allah ya muqallib al qulub like he is the you know ya muqallib al qulub Allah is Allah can turn change and hearts, change right? our hearts mm -hmm. so we can Allah, we can ask Allah about our you know children and inshallah with our good uh, you know style mm -hmm. of advising mm -hmm. and talking and teaching them inshallah we can bring them right. in the good surely way. Um, uh, advising is a separate art and skill that the parents need to be uh, masters in before they actually go and advise their children that it turns out to be effectful uh, we'll take a short break with this our viewers and um, please stay in tune <laughs>
بخاتم النبيين إلهي بالميامين هداتي من بني هاشم هداتي من بني هاشم بخاتم النبيين Welcome back our dear viewers and uh, we were talking about this very crucial topic of advising and advising I feel is there in all uh, age groups especially when the children are ready to hear our words and a very very friendly reminder to our parents that as we say that advices have to be there but we need to make sure that we retain that friendly relationship with our children and not always advising them with the words and the strict and harsh words that will uh, turn them away from us. Uh, oh, uh, back to you, Alima. And um, as we were talking about advices, and you gave us uh, quite a few points on the negative style that we should stay away and our parents and us if we should stay away from using them. And I think it's... Um, uh, it's uh, uh, pliable in any situation. If you have children, or if you are, if you have, te if you are a teacher, you have little children to look after. Exactly. Then you can always, because if you do, if you use these uh, points, it has a psychological uh, effect on the child, a negative effect. And then the in future as well, words don't affect them anymore. It's like becomes a rock that you know the water just cr crosses over and it doesn't have any effect on them. Um, okay, Alma, we have uh, sometimes we hear parents that say that uh, we do advise our children. We advise them in short words, and you know, whenever we see something wrong is happening, something bad is happening, we do our duty because we are supposed to answer to Allah. So we saw something bad happening, we did amal bil maruf, we did nahil munkar, we stopped them from the bad, but our words didn't have any effect on the hearts. What would you um, answer these parents? As we said before, that only you know um, verbally advising is very easy yeah, and it's mm -hmm. not only our responsibility mm -hmm. because it is the m very easy mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. so that's why we accept it very easily and we act upon it otherwise uh, our responsibility yeah, as you have mentioned that this uh, advising and teaching and training them and guiding them it's it's a very skillful and it's a very hard kind of art right. you know it needs a lot of uh, education and training, you know, training. yeah right. so much and that's why Allah has chosen our prophet you know as a beautiful uh, trainer beautiful murabbi we say you know that the person who, who can change our you know all heart and our um, like la bad, bad habits and um, uh, I can uh, yeah, I can say, I can give you a beautiful example of, again, our Prophet that, you know, once our Prophet was uh, sitting with uh, his companion and uh, a Bedouin came to him and because he was an ignorant person, so he used uh, some very bad words for Prophet and Prophet didn't get so much angry and he didn't react in a uh, you know, very harsh way. but the companions you know they couldn't bear it and then uh, they, they started uh, to you know react but prophet said stop it you know and then what he did he started um, to give him some some you know gifts and so much honor and respect until uh, the Bedouin uh, get uh, calm and happy and he went back then prophet said with uh, companions because they were um, you know learned people and then prophet said look uh, sometimes, uh, uh, when uh, because when a child, is, especially we know that in teenage they are not uh, ripe yet and they are not mature yet, so uh, they, they think that we are, you know, we are we, because they are, they are they are watching some kind of change in their life, even emotionally, even physically, even you know social wise. So so many changes are going on in their life, but uh, because they are not mature, so they need some kind of advice, yeah, yeah. guidance. And they don't want to take it. Why? Because they they said we are not, you know, still a baby. You know, mm -hmm. if we have uh, passed this this uh, you know phrase and this time, so now in, in we are in a new stage, a new you know phrase of our our life. So they don't want. They don't want it. So we know mm -hmm. that they don't want it. So now that is our you know uh, again you know big jihad it's and a struggle. Responsibility that, then. Yes, mm -hmm. how we deal with them. So here, uh, the Prophet said, look, 
I know how to deal, you know, with this kind of uh, people. I know when somebody doesn't know uh, the effect of like this namaz, the effect of, you know, this Quran, the, the res effects of res respect or other, other good deeds, but he doesn't know it. So I know how to control this kind of uh, escape uh, a person. So he gave the example because uh, other people, they know about um, uh, like a camel and mm -hmm. these stuff, mm -hmm. animals, because they had every day, you know, dealing right. with this kind of mm -hmm. things. So he gave the example to companion and he said that look at this um, uh, camel if my camel run away escape from me and um, you don't let me to deal with it and mm -hmm. you go all because you are sincere mm -hmm. with me mm -hmm. you know you want to do it like how mm -hmm. you said the mother's he, she she wants her mm -hmm. you know a child to be get mm -hmm. on the right mm -hmm. path that's why mm -hmm. she's just advising mm -hmm. and advising and advising day and night whenever he sees her son uh, you know she she starts to say mm -hmm. please pray mm -hmm. namaz you know please do this do mm -hmm. that so the relationship is only for advice mm -hmm. and advice so because of that again love it's mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. because of you know something else so the companions he said yeah we we want to go mm -hmm. uh, you know and 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 we want to catch um, that animal for you so we will follow the animal mm -hmm. so then prophet said that but the camel will run uh, more run away you know get away from you because you are you want to catch him, mm -hmm. him and he will escape more and more and more so then he said here you should stop and you should uh, leave on uh, the honor honor knows how to de deal if if he knows if he knows, so he knows the, the the skills of training mm -hmm. the skills of controlling so he knows that here because he's capping because mm -hmm. he's sensitive because of some reason you know he doesn't want to come near to his honor so he will go with some food and mm -hmm. he will just put food near uh, to him the camel will come okay, himself mm -hmm. yeah so with love with mercy sometimes we are not saying mm -hmm. always we are not you know saying some you know to take some very very extreme uh, you know way of just love don't advising no we said before that it's zero to seven is the age of advising is the age of you know like um, perfect age of teaching them but how that is very important that not all the time not you know when when he is very in aggressive mood like especially mm -hmm. after teenage it should be very indirectly and very beautifully whatever he likes we can sit together play together he likes this kind of play so play with him go in park for example yeah play uh, with your son then after play when uh, you are sitting and having some kind of snakes you can say that you know because you if you have uh, noticed some mistakes of your you know son or your children so in weekends you can sit and talk you know, not right. every day you are seeing so mm -hmm. by seeing or advising every day or too much you are you know keeping them go or escape or uh, you know far away from mm -hmm. yourself and that is the big zol yes, that is the big oppression more. yeah mm -hmm. because it's it's a zol on uh, that child because right. he's yeah. feeling bad because he doesn't want to listen to this all advices and this is again zol on parents because they then they have very bad feelings mm -hmm. about their children so from both side it doesn't you know go according to their needs so uh, that's why Islam says very beautifully that uh, we should be very very you know sensitive about giving them advice especially if we want to uh, you know uh, tell them their mistakes mm -hmm. because they, they rebel and they don't want to accept their faults so um, for for uh, for accepting their faults, it's better that we take their permission. Like we say, um, مثلاً, oh Fatima, oh Ali, I want to say you, uh, you know, some something about yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I I have noticed something negative. Can I say right now? So if he said no, then don't say. If he say yes, to so now he will show Be ready very, to listen. yeah, mm -hmm. very less uh, rebel mm -hmm. because he's he's ready mentally right. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can ask. So asking is the beautiful, you know, way right. uh, mm -hmm. to uh, you know uh, show his mistakes in his eyes and then when you want to say say first his positive points look you are my son mashallah you has this 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 much good qualities good you know uh, habits 
but this uh, this habit mm-hmm. I don't like it then again when you want to you know uh, tell him his mistakes so it's better if you use this kind of uh, you know wording uh, phrase that I feel upset when I see your room is you know untidy not uh, if you keep your room untidy then mm, people you know or or your friends or you know others they think you are mm-hmm. you know like this you you mm-hmm. and if mm-hmm. you do like this you know you will lose something mm-hmm. so you'll say okay i will lose there's mm-hmm. no connection with you i will de- deal myself with my friends why you are so much worried but if you say no i mm-hmm. i feel you know upset i feel Involve so much yeah then mm-hmm. the the connection is there this is mm-hmm. very important to use i mm-hmm. the wording of i instead of you mm-hmm. you 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 know you do because of yourself mm-hmm. you you study because if you don't study mm-hmm. you will lose. No, mm-hmm. if you don't study, I will, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I, 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 I'll feel yeah. so much mm-hmm. sad. Even this quality was there in, in our Prophet when he was advising people, he used to feel upset and, and Allah said, you don't feel upset if they do this or beautiful, if they do it. Beautiful, beautiful, So it's good to, inf- to make yourself involved yeah, in them, uh, to make them feel that you care for them and, and that's actually, why you're Actually, you know, the actually our Prophet used to feel upset right. because mm-hmm. how much he used to cry mm. for our future, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and how much he asked ask the you know mm-hmm. right of shafaat and right. intercession from allah for his nation again and again he said i want only that mm-hmm. give you know because b- b- without that i can't be you know content mm-hmm. and i can't mm-hmm. be you know happy mm-hmm. so that much he had actually he had that kind pain of you know us. pain for mm-hmm. us so here even if we don't have it mm-hmm. as a parents we are not a perfect mm-hmm. parents yeah because sometimes we are very selfish so but we have to show that kind of love and effect to our child we have it but we can't sometimes show it mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. the the wordings are very important so if we do uh, like this or the last one i want to say that mashallah our viewers they know that we should object uh, to uh, the uh, you know activities mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. which they are doing not uh, the child himself like we can't say that you are you know unlucky because mm-hmm. you have done this mm-hmm. your you know end will be like this because you have done no so your action i don't like your this activity your this mm-hmm. action so like that if we object our child inshallah he will uh, accept it and he will be changed so his basically life. um or um, object to his or blame or um, blame his action not the child himself yes, because yes. it's discouraging and it's yes. a sort of weakening his inner self and Definitely. taking away confidence from him right even positively if, if a good activity is done then it's always good to appraise the activity and not the child himself because then it makes them you know it gives them that um, the, the negative quality of pride and everything exactly so, yes mm-hmm. Uh, our viewers, our today's session does come to an end by uh, uh, these uh, very beautiful points that we learned a bit about advising our children and making sure that we give them just the right the right amount, the right quantity of advice and not just loads and loads and tons and tons of advices because it's going to have no effect on them. And uh, more than advices, we also have different ways of showing them or acting about and or, or acting, showing them by actions and making sure that all of this attracts them towards the right path, which is going towards Allah. With this, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.